Hi guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Biscoff loaf cake. Let's begin. To get started on the recipe, you'll want to grab yourself a mixing bowl and into your mixing bowl, place your light brown sugar and your butter and cream the two together until they are lighter and fluffier in colour and consistency. For me this normally takes between 5 and 7 minutes for this amount, but it may take you more or less time depending. Once it's light and fluffy, you can then go ahead and add in your eggs, gradually one at a time, beating well in between each addition. Don't forget to add in your teaspoon of vanilla and mix that in until it's fully incorporated. Then you can go ahead and give the bowl a good scraping down. And this is just to incorporate any bits that may not have been fully worked in from earlier on. Then you can add in your dry ingredients. So this for me is just the flour. Fold these in and, or mix them in just until it's fully incorporated. Being careful not to over mix the mixture, otherwise it'll be tough. And then again, you can give the bowl a good scraping down. And this is just to incorporate any bits that may not have been fully worked in from earlier on. Grab yourself a loaf pan and get as much of that cake batter into the loaf pan as possible. Use a loaf liner or line your pan to ensure that the cake doesn't stick. Spread and level out the batter as much as you possibly can, then place it into your oven and bake it off. For the buttercream, grab yourself a small saucepan and place in your granulated sugar along with your water. Whisk the two together until they're combined. Then place on the hob over a medium high heat. Allow it to come to 121 degrees Celsius. Then into a mixing bowl, add in your egg yolks and whole egg and whisk together until they double, triple or quadruple in volume. You're looking for some serious increase in volume and the mixture should be lighter in colour. That's what you're looking for. Once your mixture is lighter and fluffier and your liquid mix has come up to temperature, you can go ahead and carefully, steadily add in the liquid mixture to your egg mixture. This will help to cook the egg and make it safe to eat. Once you can touch the bottom of the bowl with the back of your hand, you can start to add in your butter a piece at a time, working in until it's fully incorporated. If your mixture is a little loose, don't worry. By the time you add the final bit of your butter and your biscoff spread, the mixture should have thickened. If it is still a little loose, place it into the fridge and it'll be fine. Here's what the cake looks like once it's baked and fully cooled. Very quick, very easy. And to add more biscoff into this loaf, I take a cupcake corer and core six holes into the loaf and then just fill them with biscoff. I'm using crunchy, but feel free to use smooth if that's what you'd like. Get as much biscoff in there as possible, then top that with the biscoff buttercream and just spread and level this out. You don't want it to be perfectly level, you do want some texture and some volume there. So just to cover the top so you can't see the top, which might be a little bit ugly. But once you've got that, you can then go ahead and decide to finish it off. I do this with a drizzle of biscoff spread, which is smooth and just, just warmed in a microwave and just Drizzle it over as much or as little as you'd like. The choice is really up to you. Then you can feel free to add on your Lotus Biscoff biscuits. I'm using these cream filled ones just because you get more Biscoff. And I add six, so one per portion. This cake will serve six generous portions. So for the Biscoff lovers out there, this is the recipe for you to try this year. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. And then you can go ahead and finish with a dusting of Biscoff biscuit crumbs. And this is just to add more Biscoff flavor, texture and flavor, because why not? So here is what the cake looks like once it's completely done, baked and decorated. Then you can cut a portion, as you can tell you can just about see the Biscoff centre. And once you cut into this cake again in half, you'll be able to see the Biscoff and it's the perfect amount for this cake. You've got the light brown butter sponge cake and you know the Biscoff filling, Biscoff buttercream and the Biscoff biscuit on top. What more could you ask for? It's a lot of Biscoff. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more from me and I'll be back again very soon with another recipe, so join me then. In the meanwhile, don't forget to check out the description, there'll be a link to this recipe, a link to my blog and links to my social media, so don't forget to go and follow me over on there. But that's all for today, I hope you enjoyed. Bye guys.